An excursion in the Alps, suddenly interrupted by a loose and apparently aggressive dog. When they try to pass by, it reacts even more aggressively. The reason? This dog protects a flock of sheep. It's a livestock guardian dog. What seems cute also has a purpose. These puppies are trained to become livestock guardian dogs. More precisely, they're bred for this role. They're already born among the sheep and the goats. They grow up in a herd, develop mutual trust with the owner, and after two to three months, start their training. In summer or autumn, they'll be introduced to a large flock of sheep. We expect them to protect the herd reliably and observe what happens around it. A large part of such protective behavior is instinctive. The livestock guardian dog is an integral member of the flock. Its job is to fend off natural predators. Wolves and bears are returning to Switzerland. Lynxes were reintroduced decades ago. Instead of requiring the immediate eradication of wolves and bears, flock owners rely more and more on guardian dogs. I work with livestock guardian dogs because it's a natural way of protecting my sheep against predators. Nature gives us what we need to protect our herds. It's also nature that brought the wolf back here. Today there are some 200 active guardian dogs in Switzerland, and the number is bound to grow. This leads to situations similar to the one we saw at the beginning of the clip. Hikers or cyclists meet a livestock guardian dog that defends its herd. In such situations, it's important to follow some rules. If a livestock guardian dog approaches you barking, stay calm. If you're a cyclist, get down from your bicycle. The livestock guardian dog cannot be chased away. It defends its flock as long as it feels danger. If the livestock guardian dog does not calm down, even though you're behaving in a kind manner, then start to back off. As soon as you're far enough from the flock, it will stop barking and only watch you. If it's standing there quietly or withdrawn, pass by slowly at a safe distance from the herd. If the animals are scattered and it's impossible to go around the herd, try to pass through without disturbing the animals. If the dog does not allow it, then go back. If you walk through the herd, the livestock guardian dog will follow you. Remount your bicycle only once you're at least 50 meters away from the flock. <laughs> Livestock guardian dogs react more aggressively towards predators or dogs than towards humans. It is strongly advised against bringing along dogs if you go to regions with herds that are being protected by livestock guardian dogs. If you nonetheless meet a protected herd, put a leash on your dog. Never try to cross a protected herd with a dog, but rather go around it from a distance. In case of doubt, turn around. If it sees a predator, for example, it tries to chase it away by barking loudly and with all its strength. Most of the time, it succeeds. Wild animals do not risk a fight in which they will most probably lose a lot of energy and perhaps even their lives. <coughs> What we expect from the dog is that it's alert and not aggressive towards humans. If a predator appears, it will protect its herd. If people behave like the information sign suggests, then there will be no problems. This does not mean that unpleasant encounters will not occur. People who are afraid of dogs in particular should always try to avoid an encounter. All areas with livestock guardian dogs are marked on an online map on herdenschutzschweiz.ch. 
This map will help you to plan your tour. By following these rules, you're not only contributing to your own safety, but also to the herds in the Alps. Their existence depends on the effective protection by these trained dogs.